everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, when I was in the computer room working on my comments, Jim comes in with the, with the mail, and guess what? Oh my, I says, he brings me this. It's huge. Oh my goodness, it's got, it's got, if you notice, it's got a pig on it, it's got a cow on it, it's got a chicken on it. And who sent me this? I says, who's that for? And he goes, that's for you. And I go, who sent me what? And it's from Pamela. Pamela's adoring crochet. Oh, I don't even know what it is, but I did look the, I haven't opened it yet, but I did look the, the bag over and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, where's the top again? This, this must be a carrying bag because I see stitches. It's like there's stitching here. I see it, so I've got to open it very careful. So that's what I will do, and then I will be right back. Well, okay, now we got the tape off. And I was correct. It is a carrying bag. I knew it. I just knew it. But there's something in it. <laughs> now to open that. Oh, my, oh, my. It's in another bag. The bag is in the bag. Or the bag. Yeah, there's a bag. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you... I have a feeling. Oh my goodness! I got Emma. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> this she worked on. Is. This is this yes. is something that she learned to do, and she named it Emma. Thank you. It's so pretty. Very, Look at very, very good. Emma. It's yeah. a chicken. It's my Emma. I hope it's in the camera. Is it in the camera? Good. I don't know. I, I can't so. see. Yeah, let me see. You got the. Emma, thank you, mm -hmm. Pamela. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at, and she put buttons on the back. It's something that I can wash if I need to wash. This is perfect. You know what? When we were first married, we had bought a lot of things in the in the orangish color. I have a lot of things that are orange because orange was one of my favorite colors. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious me! Thank you so much, Pamela. I can't believe it. This is something that she worked on. I saw her working on it, or she showed it several times. It's beautiful. And it came in, a, and the tape, unreal, a um, um, crazy amount of tape. It took us how long to, probably a good 20 minutes to unwrap it. <laughs> but I thank you, oh my goodness, Pam Pamela. You want to know something? I was going to tell you this, but not today. I was going to save it for tomorrow, but tomorrow is Jim and our anniversary. So this is beautifully perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, here you hold it. I'll put that. That's going to go. That I want to be able to see often, so i got to put it somewhere where I see it all the time. Probably in my room that I work on my crochet and as I see it, or unless I put it here. It's in here right now. I also, oh my goodness, I don't know. This is, the, look at this bag. Look at, I have a bag. And it's so cute. It's got a cow on it. Look at that cow. Look at that cow. It's got pig and chicken and another cow on the other side. A <laughs> white face. And the chicken going back. It's really squawking. No. Oh, nice. Oh, my goodness, Pamela. Thank you so much. That was really thoughtful of you. I will cherish it. you got to know I will. And that just yep. belongs in the bottom of yep. the bag. Just a, just a bottom line. Jim's or... checking it over. <laughs> he's got to he's check a little well, more. That's what? okay. Today, I'm going to put a little video in. I didn't know what my video was going to be, and this was a surprise. I didn't expect this. But... 
I did, I asked Jim to get our camper out because I said we might as well stay on a stay vacation. And so my camper, I was watching Ron and Judy on Full Time Dreamers and they were, they have their camping, they were at Allegheny State Park is where they were. And when I was watching it, I noticed that they had the same wheel. I didn't know what the name of the thing was that stops the trailer from moving, but they're called wheel blocks. We have the same wheel blocks. And she talked about having the frame of the trailer raised up and it felt high. And they are high. They Ours is a lot higher than our other trailers because of the slide out. I don't know if yours has a slide out, excuse me, slide out on it or not, but that makes them higher. But we have three steps going into our camper, so maybe you need another step stool or something if the step is higher. Because they may have only put a two-stepper on yours because it was lower at one time. But I'm going to put that video in. You're going to get a little tour of my camper. So we'll go out to the video and I'll show you that right now. I'm getting ready for a stay vacation. Can you see that? People will think I've gone somewhere or I just came back, but no. I'm gonna sit in my little camper and pretend. I hope Jim doesn't mind me doing this. You see the beautiful flag on the side? That's one that he designed. He usually parks it the other direction, but this time he said he's gonna park it this way. That's in case you wanna have um, like a, a pretend sewer. You have that, you drain your dark water, black water in that, and then you take it over to the dump station and dump it. We were in Colorado and they didn't have um, full hook hookups, so we used that. They would come around and pump you out, but it costs too much money when we could just take it over there ourselves. I wanted to pick the flowers before you ran it over. Okay, I got them. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that, the poor flowers. They were almost going to get run over. We'll put them in the house. I'll have gorgeous flowers in the house. Beautiful. Now what are you doing? Well, just leveling it. Oh, that's good. At least I won't feel like I'm walking crooked in my staycation. <laughs> yeah. oh, you get another peek at Jim. See, I was just watching, I don't know who I was watching, and I said we have the same what channel was that that they had the camper? They're from Western New York too. Hmm. I don't know. I don't remember. But anyways, we have the same things that go between the wheels to keep them from rolling. See, there it is. I don't know what they're called. And we crank down kind of jacks like you had. And yes, the camper is high, but I think it's because of the slide. She was saying that her camper is higher. They had it raised, so now it doesn't drag when they go out a small hill. Yep, these are, this is high too. In fact, my steps are over here now this time. Usually they're on the outside, but put the steps down. Oh there, we have three steps. I don't know how many steps you have. Maybe that's, if, just put, if it's too high, just put a little step there and step up. You wanna see the inside? I'll show you. I haven't, I haven't even been in yet. Whoops. Let me open the door. It's got a screen door here. We'll close the screen door as we go in. Oh, my table is tipped over. Or he laid it over. I don't know which. Oh, no, I think it tipped over because my TV's on the floor. <gasps> it's not good. Let me pick this up and see what it looks like. Oh, no. I guess it's okay. Phew, that's good. Hello. I have my own hair on today but you can't really tell. Can you tell? I'm lovely. Just lovely. Oh, that screen has got stuff it needs wiped off. It's been out here forever. Well, this is my bedroom, and those are the dryer sheets that were spread all over, but last time when I was out here, I put them all there because I haven't gotten rid of them. And if you put dryer sheets in your campers, then they deter mice. 
this is my couch and this is a beautiful beautiful crocheted um i put it over the back of the house or back of the house listen to me back of the couch it's gorgeous it's got some writing on it i forgot what it says but it's beautiful oh he's wiggling us and this is my refrigerator and to keep the mold from developing in there you keep the doors kind of a jar so I put towels there and this one was the same thing and I keep a towel here this is where when we're doing dishes we would put the dishes on here so that they could dry drip dry and then we put them away but this is my stove let's look at my stove and see whether it's how it is oh my little village I have a village just because and this is my stove it's a three burner stove my other stove and one of my other campers had four burners this one's got three then in here is my oven oh and there's more dryer sheets hello dryer sheets that's to keep the mice from wanting to build in there and this is um my cutting board that i keep and that's where i keep it in the oven this oven works pretty darn good this is a basket that when we didn't do all the dryer sheets this is what happens to the baskets the mice chew this is not good. I don't see any mouse turds this time. That's wonderful. And my gloves from when I was cleaning in here last time. And this too was chewed up by the mice last time. I'll leave it here. We haven't used the camper in a long, long time. We haven't gone camping. It's still got the things that I had put in here. We've stolen a few things from here because we ran out of it in the house. In here, what do we have? Oh, we got more dryer sheets. And this is where the water pump is. It's dirty under there. And so the dishes that are under there have to be washed before you can use them. My toaster, if I were to use a toaster, my electric frying pan this time. And then up here are more things. This was not a door at one time. This was just a blank spot, but Jim made the door. And look at that door. Looks almost like the other doors. It's made out of oak. This is oak. We have everything is oak in here. But he made this door. And there's my radio. And he made this door too. This middle one. Because there was there was um nothing. Well, that's where I store food when we go. Then more dryer sheets. And down here is where I put my dishes. And more dryer sheets. We keep them down there because they're heavy. And on this cushion will lift also. And on this other side, we had coats. But right now we've got the pump for water. This is what we bring our own water, then we put the pump in. And it, you just you pump it and you push the top. Oops. You push this top up and down, and it comes out of the nozzle that's right there. Then we have three bunks. We have one, two, and Emily wanted a high one, so we have a third one. But this is just used for storage. And when we bring, when we go camping, which we haven't done in a long time, the dogs sleep down here. And then if we have a child with us, they would sleep here. And this is the closet. Oh, and there's a bag of bags hanging and an umbrella and a broom and a little little um, dirt duster. And this is my, oh, there I am. This is my bathroom. Isn't it beautiful? It's a nice bathroom. We had a tub put in ours because when you're camping, you sometimes want the tub, especially if you're hooked up to the sewer system. And then we have this to hang up anything that we want to hang up outside. When we were in Colorado, everything used to dry really fast. And then there's my mirror. And, and what's left in there? We have things that are still in there. And these are old repellents. I don't think you can buy them anymore. They probably have stuff in it that they don't like you to have anymore. But, yeah. Oh, I don't want to see me. And inside, oh, we must have used sponge rollers at one time. The sponge is gone, but these are the rollers from the sponge rollers. 
this stuff is dirty in here. Oh, and there's a headband that I forgot I even had. Oh, and more dryer sheets, of course. And this part, we made storage also. Lovely. And I did have a hair dryer. Oh, I still have the hair dryer in here. I couldn't find my hair dryer one time, and I says, I wonder where it is. Well, it's in the camper. Not that I use a hair dryer anymore, but I did it one time. And then the toilet, it's got, what's it look like in there? It's got the hand flusher. It's got one for the water and two for the, two for the poo. But we don't use this unless we're hooked up to the sewer. If we're not hooked up to sewer, you don't use it. And when the kids were little, they had their own little potty seat that we used to sit on there. I still have it in here. We don't have any little kids anymore. And because the slide is is still in, it'll be going out in a minute. This is the window to the slide. It's a it's a nice size slide, so it'll make it big in here once it goes out. And my bedroom, and we have a door on my bedroom. We have a sliding sliding doors on both sides. I'm gonna lock it because I won't be opening them. But there's a sliding door. A lot of them have just curtains. I don't have a curtain. I have an actual door. And our walls, they're, they're solid. A lot of them, they spring terrible. These don't spring. This is a really solid, oh, there's my Teen Queens. There's Emily. And that is, that's um, the Mikhail. That was Miss New York also, but hers got funny for some reason, hmm. And these are things that we made when we were at Camp Vention. And of course the American flag and the Canadian flag hanging. And a dog leash, of course, because we always have a dog with us. We use a dehumidifier in here too because um, it can get pretty darn moist in here when you're sleeping. You wouldn't believe how much moisture you put out. More of these CD arts. And then there was a fish. These are things that we made. So if you have CDs and you want to make some things that shine and sparkle, and they're kind of nifty. They're double-sided so that if the wind blows them, they still look lovely. Oh, there goes the slide. Yeah, because it's got to have that or hot to my door. Yeah, hot to the power. Must be. And it's giving me floor space. Everything in here runs off of 12, well, most everything runs off of 12 volt lighting and stuff like that. So. Oh, yeah. So it needs the battery. It needs the battery. Ooh, it this is cute. So Look how rain. big I'm getting now. Did you see how wide? Whoa! Love this. Do -do -do. There it is, yep. wide open. Wide open, and I notice we have a poodle on the side here. We have a lot of things in here. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff. I like my, well, this stuff I kind of like. It's, it's in here for decoration. And it stays in here, we don't take it out. We even have toys for children that come in. This I made. I made this, oh gosh, I made this so long ago. I made this almost 30, almost 40 years ago, actually. Well, Jessica's 38, so I made it 38 years ago. Or I made it either for Jessica or Michael. I can't remember who I made it for. But this isn't the monkey that she always took. I gave the monkey to her that she always would take camping. Oh, and I didn't show you this closet. This is a closet. This is for food and whatever we want to put in it. And of course, there's swimmies back there. See the swimmies? The kids always use swimmies. And these are this. This I used to love. I don't know what they were just. They were just cute, and I used to put them out on the table. 
I put this one, that one, and I put this one. I thought they were just so unique. These guys would be on the table. And see how it bumps out. And there's the window that we looked out looked at on the inside and it's on the outside now. Well you saw the, the camper as it is. I haven't been in it since last year. And whatever stuff was around is, is the stuff that's around. I need to clean the cupboards out because I didn't do that last time. But you saw all the dryer sheets. So if you have spiders in your cars or mice that like to go in an engine that of a car that maybe is just sitting there, you put dryer sheets in it and that will keep the mice out and it keeps spiders out of your vehicles too. There's something that's in the dryer sheets they don't like. And so that's what I did. I, I put the dryer sheets all over and boy, it really works. So that is my video for today. And thank you, Pamela. That is from Pamela's Adoring Crochet, my pillow, Emma. She named it Emma and that is Emma. Emma's my hen, in case those of you that don't know who Emma is. Emma is my hen and she's been a really popular hen, hen for a long time. She's been, she's been with me for almost six years. She's one of the, she likes to go broody and she's a really good mama when she does go broody. And she takes very good care of her babies after she's done hatching them out. Well, I thank you all for watching and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye. It's so hard to say goodbye. <laughs>